Greetings and welcome to another episode of our Ethiopian run here on Victoria 3. If you have watched the last episode, you already know that we have been bullied once again by our rival France. <laughs> And we are now paying um, the war reparation. Even though we have this uh, extra expense, we are still having a positive budget. We are trying to pile up again some gold reserve over time. Also, we managed to, in the hand, build a little colony here in Ethiopian Equatoria. Then we also have this uh, microscopic colony here in the Rift Valley, but of course, uh, this is something where we have been stopped immediately by France. So now we are basically entering uh, the almost the, the state of uh, Dinka. Of course, we are also opposed by France here. So who knows, maybe similarly to what they did already here in the Rift Valley, they will find a way to cut our progression with their expansion in the area. We will see. It's quite some time that I'm trying to pass the law for merc mercantilism. And uh, I hope that at some point this uh, will be unlocked, giving us the possibility to start trading, which would be already fantastic. Let's remove the pause. We are in December 1875. And let's see if we are luckier this time with mercantilism. Please, please, please. Yes, I cannot believe. We finally have mercantilism. Market, very good. Let's see, here we need definitely trade route for iron. From the Austrian market. Let me sell something. Let's give some tea away. French market 21. And then I would say also the coffee then was the highest, the second highest, right? Yes. We have 21 convoys available. Serfdom abolished. Let's try with this now. Let's try with migration controls. And now we have a lack of authority. We have to be careful here. I think I will need to stop bolstering the industrialist and the intelligentsia. Okay, now we have positive authority again, authority again. Look how France is trying really to take us out of this area here where we have established the colony of Ethiopian Equatoria. But we managed to pass the law for migration control. There is nothing that we can pass right now, it seems. I mean, it will be nice to remove uh, the serfdom because then this will allow us to introduce uh, interventionism. I mean, ideally, if uh, there was no such uh, opposition. For the moment, I think that we cannot really push for other laws, but let's see here, raising concerns. Event in Oromia. The armed forces have expressed their concerns about government decision clearly favoring the interests of the industrialist. I mean, it's always good to have the armed forces on your side because they give good bonuses and right now we have a dangerous minus four. But I really need to keep uh, the industrialist in the government and on my side. Unless... But plus 20. Okay, maybe for once we can damage a little bit the industrialist. Inefficient agriculture, we have seen this in the past. Well, upper strata pops in Gondor become more radical. Okay. Pacifist led by Haile Solomon are protesting against the weapons manufacturing in Somaliland. Let's piss off the petite bourgeoisie. We shall not be shamed for our good craftsmanship. Proposal for defensive pact with La Haye. Decline and we don't have any obligation, so who cares? Coal mines in Ubangi Shari, not bad. But we are still far away from there. 
and now we have a good positive budget again also because we are no longer paying the war reparation to France very good very good tax waste is only at 1.3 percent very good let's decrease the taxes to make the people happy the literacy is going down I really need to to build uh, I think a university as soon as I will have the chance Intensive agriculture unlocked uh, and this is not bad at all because it will give us the possibility to produce um, Fertilizer should we do that we can then boost the agriculture further and decrease the cost of grain more food for our people especially for the lower strata we are slowly building uh, here a connection with Dar al Qudi that has some coal mines not bad we might finally be able to invest in coal let me just see the potential Dar al Qudi 2160 not bad we should try to push farther Hoping that France doesn't cut us here. Mining accident, unfortunately. A mine in Somaliland has collapsed, trapping miners within the dark shafts below. The scale of the accident has made the tragedy a story across Somaliland and the nation. This will give some boost to the trade unions, but the trade unions right now, they are marginalized. They have 1.5 clout, so we can go here, I believe. And then here there is a diplomatic play in Nile. This is France against Dar Fertit. Exactly. They are trying to cut our way to Dar al Kuti. As always, the third time that this happens, basically. I'm not going to join this war because it will be insane. We have learned the lesson. Declare neutrality. Yes. So unfortunately we cannot declare war on Dar Fertit because uh, this is a, a land that needs to be colonized. It's a decentralized power and we cannot uh, make a diplomatic play against them. The reason why France has this chance is because they basically triggered the uprising. And now with the uprising they're going to have a war and they're going to conquer the rest of uh, this state but we basically are unable now to proceed farther because uh, we cannot uh, we cannot conquer this piece of land that will connect to Dar al Qudi. so here once again France uh, in the hand managed to keep us out of the region because we we cannot expand farther I mean the only way will be to declare war on Darfur hey 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 hey, hey I have an idea while France is fighting against the Dar Fertit, we could kind of circumvent them by trying to conquer Darfur and then we will also have access to Dar al Qudi, and we will be able to start a colony here, I believe, because we will share the border. So what if we declare a war against um, Darfur? After all, they have five plus six battalions. Let's take a look. Diplomacy. So they don't have alliances. If I will declare war on Darfur, we believe this country may join either side or remain neutral, France and Egypt. Let's try. If no one joins, we might have a chance there. And as always, I'm dragging myself into a new war. <laughs> But what to do? We might need here a new general because we don't have a general in the Nile at quarter. Let's see who will be an option. Both are landowners. From one side we have uh, Demisi Ali Abba de Yas. Alternatively, Atsbaha Engida. Uh, let's go with the Demisi. And we need to increase the taxes right now and decrease the government wages for some time. 
to support the war. France is easily winning against Dar Fertit. Yes, Darfur against Ethiopia. Let's get access to Dar Al Kuti. They are destroying our ass with an army that is much smaller than our and technology I, I don't really understand they even have peasant levies I don't think that they have better technology than ours to be honest line infantry we also have line infantry they have a mix of irregular infantry and line infantry in the meantime we have a diplomatic tour event the ruling industrialist led by the charismatic Ahmad Turnza we have already seen this basically is going on a tour we could either boost the industrialist and they don't really need it because they have a decent amount of clout and they are happy or instead we could get more influence i mean we don't really need it uh let's boost the industrialist okay at least now they've lost significant amount of war support can we still turn the destiny of this war, of this scarce war? I mean, we have professional army, they have peasant levies, seriously. We have uh, line infantry for all our units and they are defeating us. 23 defense against 19 offense. How they can have this? Plus 30 commander from commander trait. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. This game makes no sense. I will have to lose this war and that's it. We had literally everything we needed to win this. You can compare professional army and peasant levies. With us properly having proper proper weapon compared to the opponents and more than three times more the units that they have and still they win just because the general was giving some kind of advantage come on doesn't make a lot of sense in my opinion so we failed unfortunately the conquest of uh, Darfur so in the end France still managed to achieve uh, uh, their goal of cutting us away from uh, this uh, area here because our only option then to get access to Dar al Kuti will have been through Darfur. I would say that this run started nicely, very nicely. Early game, I think it was managed very well. But then at some point, mid game, I've lost it. <laughs> and I am afraid of how the end game will look like. Because in all of these guys, we reached the 10th of July, 1880. And. Um, yeah, probably, you know, I will completely disregard war at this point um, and just focus on the on the development of our of our economy. And that's it. I will literally try to grow tall from now on and avoid every possible war. The only wars I could declare maybe in the future are here for the countries that, let's say, are in the in, in our in our strategic region it's uh, it's pointless to to keep trying <laughs> you have seen already many times uh, that france basically blocked us i was having a plan b to go through darfur and darfur became like i don't know iron man in person <laughs> and uh, and so yes i mean it's kind of pointless and uh, honestly i think it's also not the right approach we should uh, stop rushing from war to war and just really focus on the development of our country i don't understand also why the game is highlighting the high tension between uh, dar al kuti and ethiopia considering that we are not even bordering so this is not even the right message that would have been uh, true if we were managing to actually um, get access to darfur but that's not the case so i don't know what they're referring to it's appearing interest because we have lost position unfortunately in the rank we are only 87 at this point so guys i will say that for today this is uh, all i'm sorry if uh, this was another disappointing <laughs> episode of our run but as i also said at the beginning of this run i'm learning the game of course with all the experience that i collected in the course of this run uh, i have learned a lot and there are plenty of decisions that I would have made completely different. Maybe we can still correct the course somehow. 
but it is something that we will discover together in the next episodes. So as always, I can only invite you to keep following the series and should this be the case, guys, see you in the next video. Cheers.